Um, can you describe a class with, with Stella? What would that be like? Um, I mean, so there were a number of them, you know, there were, I, and I, um, I mean, I, so this group interpretation class was a, um, more, more like a lecture kind of class where, and she, at, at one point she, she did that, did in a, in a, in the theater in a, um, temple, you know, in a, um, synagogue somewhere in midtown or uh, uptown. Um, so always she would enter, the, you know, there would be enormous sort of preparation. She'd come in and there would be standing ovation. That was, that was standard for all her classes. And, um, and uh, then she would open out a, a, a subject in the script interpretation and, and um, you know, you have to read a play and then she would break down a scene and um, slowly and meticulously, and um, you would find um, that there would be like a crevice in a piece of text through which the entire culture would, would suddenly come flooding up out of it, you know, a piece of text that would two words or two phrases where you could easily just slide right over them. She would stop you and show you the psychosexual, intellectual preoccupations of that period of time and so that you'd understand um, issues and tensions and ideas that, um, that were working, that were at, at work there, you know. Um, you know, uh, I took a character class. That was different. That was, a, but that was very. That was a unique class to Stella, where you, you know, she would describe character in terms of archetypes um, that were sort of societal. I guess one might say Western archetypes: the peasantry, um, the aristocracy, the clergy, uh, the middle class. Um, so you just go through them. And, and they would, uh, one by one, and um, explore them by way of, you know, um, cultural expressions way, way beyond the theater. So if you were doing the clergy, for example, she would you'd, you'd talk, you'd sort of go through the Metropolitan Museum and you'd feel the height of the ceiling or columns or, you know, you'd look at paintings and... and um, or you would dance, you know, there were, or in the military was another one. You would march and you'd listen to military music and, and um, you'd, you'd costume yourself. And, and, but, you know, she, the costumes would be critiqued. Um, um, so those were, those were very active and I think extraordinarily imaginative classes and classes that um, always were intended to marry um, your, I, I guess one might say, your habitual daily self with this huge mythological, these huge mythological uh, realms that are our birthright as human beings, uh, you know. Um, scene study class, uh, you know, you same thing, she'd walk in, be applauded, she would graciously accept her applause, you know, sit down, and then scene work would start, and she'd usually, often she'd stop it even before anybody said anything, and and she would go completely insane, you know, she would, you should listen to tapes of her, she would, she took it very personally. Uh, funny thing was that if you were on the receiving end of that, you, you didn't, it, it looked awful, it looked bruising. And I think probably it, w it was. I think people taught in those days differently than they do now and don't teach that way. Um, for, for worse and for better and, and also for, our, you know, to, to our detriment. But, um, but when you were on the receiving end of it, often you didn't, it, didn't, it didn't hurt as much as it looked like it, it would have if you, were, if you were sitting on the sidelines. It was this impersonal... powerful, you know, 
uncompromisable artistic standard just coming at you. And um, at the other end of it what wasn't hatred or sadism, but profound love. Um, really, I, if you abstract it, you know, maybe that's the right word. To the um, ultimate, it was profound love of humanity. Um, it was like a religious fervor that you as a human being, you as an actor, we as theater practitioners, um, we owe ourselves, we owe the world much more than what you thought coming in here today. And um, I won't let you leave without sharing with you this responsibility, you know, and if you can't. And I think probably it was ruthless. If you can't take it, um, then maybe you shouldn't be in the theater. Um, but if you can take it, there may be a place for you in the theater.